Welcome to the How to Navigate the Hudson online course tutorial. This presentation will provide you with an overview of how a Hudson online course is structured, as well as where to find key elements that can help you get off to a successful start. You can access your coursework anytime, anywhere, and all online courses are structured the same and have a similar look and feel. The benefit of this approach for the online learner is that once you understand where everything is and how it all works in your first course, you're all set for the ones that follow. Before we take a look inside an online course, let's back up and remind you how to access the Blackboard Learning Management System. You can access your course on the HCCC portal. Once you're in, there's no need for you to remember your username and password. Simply click onto the Blackboard icon to get started you'll see all the courses you are currently registered for, including those that meet face-to-face. -face. So let's take a look inside an online course. The first screen that will always load when you get to a course is the Announcements page. Also accessible from the left side menu, the Announcements page is where your faculty member can send a broadcast message to all students about any important information that he or she wants you to know. Make sure you take the time to look at the new announcements for each day you sign in. After you complete this tutorial, and each time you begin a new online course, your first step should be the Getting Started section, also listed on the left side main menu. In this area, you will find the recommended steps to help you get off to a smooth start in the course. You will see a copy of this tutorial, and then a link to Communicating with your instructor which will give you options to faculty information, such as office hours. Here, you can have private message exchanges with your instructor or classmates, and unlike external email, all communications are in a central location, so nothing gets lost. And finally, the Ask the Instructor tab is where you can ask your instructor questions in a public setting. Your classmates will be able to see and benefit from your questions. In Course Dates, you can click the link to view the course dates, academic calendar, as well as the course refund schedule. And finally, an important location in the left side menu is Course Content. This is where you can begin your work on the unit. This area is meant to introduce you to the many features of the course, including the unit description of all the topics that will be covered, the course objectives, and a detailed list of learning activities. The vast majority of the time you spend inside an online course will be in the course content area. This section is broken down into units, which are numbered and structured in exactly the same way. What makes a particular unit different from another is the learning activities or content material inside it. At the very end of the course content section of each unit is the learning activities folder. This is what needs to be completed by the end of each unit. It includes a lecture folder, a discussion questions folder, an assignments folder, and a content assessment folder. Let's take a look inside a typical unit. In the Discussion Questions area, you will find one or two discussions that you are required to participate in for a particular unit. In Unit 1 of every online course, you'll see an extra discussion question for you to introduce yourself to your instructor and classmates. In the Assignments area, you'll find one or more assignments that your instructor wants you to complete. This is also where you submit your assignments and in the Content Assessment folder, you will find a weekly quiz or exam, which will gauge how well you learn the main concepts of the unit. Now you have an understanding of what's in each unit and how to get there. Each unit is set to open on a particular date. You can always look back to past units you covered, but you have to wait for specific dates to see new units. Let's take a look at a few more important items found on the left side main menu. As your instructor grades any completed discussions or assignments you've submitted, those grades will appear in the My Grades area. Check this area frequently so you can see how well you are progressing in the course. Finally, every online course has student support areas with three important links to help you complete your coursework 
and increase your ability to succeed. Located on the left side menu are the HCCC library, tutoring, and technical support. The online tutorial area takes you to the Smart Thinking online tutorial link. Your institution has provided you access to Smart Thinking online tutoring. This enables you to get live help in these subjects up to 24 hours per day, 7 days per week. Under the Technical Support tab, you will have access to all documents related to troubleshooting issues on Blackboard. You also have the ability to contact a help desk support agent about any immediate concerns through phone, by chat, or by submitting a ticket. Support is available 24-7. Thank you for completing the How to Navigate the Hudson online course tutorial.